Roy Townsend with Maverick Aircraft. It's kind of a car, it's kind of an airplane, kind of a powered parachute. Really, what is it? Well, the Maverick is, a, it's a rotable powered parachute or a flying car. You know, it's a true flying car. On the ground, it's a very, very capable dune buggy, off-road vehicle or on-road vehicle. And in the air, it's nothing more than a large powered parachute. So what that means basically is that people, when they think about the flying car, they think about something with traditional wings, traditional mm -hmm. tail plan, but right. this does not have that. This does not have that. It's, it flies with a parachute wing. It's a car first. We designed this car to go work in frontier areas. It's designed to go through the bush as far as possible. And then when you come to a canopy of the jungle or a river, to be able to put up the wing and hop over it to get down into the settlements. I mean, you know, you come to a river and it might be a six hour hike on the ground or drive before you can cross it. But if you can put a wing up and just hop the river, you can do that in about 20 minutes. Get there faster and in true Italian style. The P2008 Turbo by Technam, the ultimate high wing LSA, now available with the silky smooth Rotax 914 Turbo. www.technam.net. A real airplane, not just a toy. The Airplane Factory Sling is a high performance two place LSA that fits the needs of private individuals, flight schools, and flying clubs alike, and has been called one of the best handling LSAs on the market. Check it out at www.airplanefactory.com. Cubcrafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. Let's go through some of the specs on, on the, on, as an airplane because if you're in the bush, in the jungle, mm -hmm. you put up the wing, how much room do you need to get it off the ground? You know, on a river bank, you need about 300 feet if it's fully loaded to gross weight. And generally within about 45 degrees of the prevailing wind. And then to land? To land, you can get it in a lot shorter. You can get it in about 100 feet. So go through some of the potential customers that you have for the Maverick. You know, potential customers for the Maverick in the commercial sense is pipeline control up in Alaska, large, large free rain ranches where the owner wants to get up and find his wild horses or his cattle, take a veterinarian with them, go find it. The veterinary lands gets out, gives the colts their shots. If they're having a problem with a calf, they can actually load it in the craft and either fly it or drive it back. We have interest in Peru for finding precious metals. They fly them across the ground over and over, just crisscrossing a pattern at about 50 feet off the ground. And they point their sensors down and they're looking for precious metals is one of our newest <laughs> interests. And then uh, some people, it's just a big toy. You know, they just want the newest thing to drive to the car show. And hey, by the way, I can fly this too. Let's talk a little bit more about the performance of the vehicle, both as a car okay. and an airplane. As a car, it's a very, very capable car. It'll do highway speeds all day. We've had it definitely over 100 miles an hour on the road. A while back, we drove them over 1,400 miles through big cities, highways. And that was our big test of our ground drive system, and it performed very, very well. You can one-hand it. It's automatic transmission, neutral forward and reverse and brakes, and that's about it. And it gets about 25 miles to the gallon on the ground. With that, you can go about 400 miles on a tank of gas. With this craft, you drive as much as you can, and then when you need to get over terrain, you fly it because it drives twice as fast as it flies. It flies about 40 miles an hour. You can steer it either with the electronic fly-by-wire steering and the steering wheel, or you can pedal steer it like a normal powered parachute. They're interconnected, so you could fly it either way. One's a backup for the other. It's just a big powered parachute. <laughs> What's the transition like between car and airplane? How long does it take and, and what is the process involved there? You know, it takes me about 15, 20 minutes to go from car to airplane, vice versa. We have people in our shop that can do it in five, 10 minutes. I'm a little older. <laughs> Basically, the wing is all packed up in the top of the unit. We have a mass bar system. So the mast is assembled. It's like a big 30 foot fishing rod. It's in four pieces, four or five pieces and you assemble that. When you unzip the top of the unit, 
the wing is folded on a spar like this, mm -hmm. it comes out and then it telescopes out the spar on the front of the wing. You hook that rigging to the mast rigging and then you just hoist it up like a sailboat sail. Imagine a sailboat sail going up except vertically it's horizontal. It's pretty simple how it works. And then transitioning from wheel drive to propeller? From wheel drive to propeller, basically we have a male-female spline shackle that you just lock it in and you do it back at the transmission. Now it looks like it's kind of open. If you're out on the road, on the street, on a kind of chilly morning like this, is there some protection you can put around? Absolutely. We have full covering like a Jeep. We have zip-in windows, zip-out windows. You can be fully enclosed if you like to be fully enclosed. Can those stay on when you fly? Absolutely. It doesn't matter if they're on or off or one's on. Are you in production right now, Troy? Uh, yes, sir. We're in production. We got our SLS certification late September 2010. We've been building a factory and we are custom building them one by one right now. And how many are out there? Out there, we are about on our 11th one from prototype to these. Great. Well, Troy Townsend with Maverick Aircraft, thanks very much for taking some time to talk with us on Aero TV. Thank you. Appreciate it.